Today we have the number 27 SWAT 556 versus number 38 small game 7 round 1. Let's get it started. For those of you who do not know me, I am Sila. For those of you who do, welcome back. I have missed you. Hope y'all are having a beautiful, beautiful day. And I know I haven't been putting up as many videos lately. It's because I've been editing extra hard because there will be a format change and I'll try to get more into that later. But this is such a random game, I feel like. And I'm going to go see if I can go Kiwi on them with my small. You might be asking yourself, well, see, love, what, what is this going Kiwi on them? What, what does that mean? I believe the term going ham has been overused. It's time for something new, guys. So I want to use any random food you want. I'm going bananas on it. Well, I guess that actually kind of makes sense. That, that is a bad example. I'm going Oreo on them. I'm going... No, going nuts on them wouldn't work either. Um, I'm going mango on them. I don't know. Just throw in whatever feed you want. I would love to start this trend. Because that's what I like to do with my channel. Start up stupid, random, funny trends, if all possible. And one day we'll look back and be like, you know what? See love and his subscribers. That, that's how I got started. I was a part of that movement. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm hoping, at least. <sighs> but yeah, I guess I'll give you a little... I mean, there's not much to talk about for the small. Luckily, me and Exalted got into a lobby where the guy's uh, skill levels weren't particularly too high. We had a few of them uh, messing around, so... As you'll see later on, and Exalted was like, Hey, this guy, come get him. And I was like, sweet, thanks, bro. And speaking of Exalted, he is uh, not here this weekend, which is why I am able to spend so much time editing. Because normally we're always shooting for stuff, and then later on I got to do all the editing. And, but yeah, so this is just a full weekend. I'm not playing at all. I'm just editing, editing, editing. So we got a lot of gun madness to go in a short amount of time before Ghost comes out. Because it is that time of year, guys. That awesome time of year. And I always know when it starts. And it's whenever... NFL week one game one starts that's when I know we're at the awesome time of year all the way till about February the weather gets cooler I'm a huge fan of the cold we have football and then shortly followed by basketball no more baseball I'm not I'm, I'm trying to acquire the taste of baseball so yeah that's that's for a topic for another day then we have Thanksgiving and Christmas. I love those holidays. Those are my favorite. And then my birthday. So, I mean, this is a good time of year. We are almost there, and I cannot wait for it. It's going to be awesome. So, with the small, if you're kind of wondering what I'm using, I used a... <sighs> I'm using two C4s. That is an ultimate must, because if I only have one rocket without having to scavenge anything then i'm going to want two c4s of the most overpowered equipment in the game <laughs> that's all there is to it um gonna be i'm really surprised i honestly haven't nerfed it yet the c4 i mean i feel like they've been nerfing and buffing everything else over the past few months like the swat it's been buffed a few times i think it got buffed on two different occasions i know one for sure but uh we'll talk more about swat later so yeah, I've just been using this uh, whole weekend to just edit, catch up. My sister came into town, so I got to spend time with her, and that guy quit out. That annoyed me. And that's actually a really funny story what happened. So she has a daughter, my 21-month-old uh, niece, and she was in her room, and my sister went to go to the bathroom or something, maybe do her hair or something. And all of a sudden, I hear my sister, you know, Honey, will you, will you open, turn the doorknob, turn the doorknob. And I'm like, oh, no. And so I was actually editing this game. I was working on the scoreboard part, I remember. And I had I got out of my room, went over there, and sure enough, she was locked in my sister's room. So I was trying to figure out how am I going to get this open. Because it was like the doorknob where uh, you, you twist on the doorknob. So it's not like one of those other ones where like you can use a credit card or anything like that. And I was just trying to figure it out. And there's no way I could, like, screw drive it off the doorknob. Because one time when I was little, my one of my cousins threw a fit. The ones I play with on my channel. And he, my papa was real mad, I remember. And he was there throwing a fit and locked himself in. And I just remember him going up to the doorknob and taking off the doorknob completely and then getting onto him. This wasn't the case in this situation. So I didn't know what to do. So I went to our... Uh, 
when we have an emergency on our street of sorts, there's one man we go to on our neighborhood, and uh, he's like the handyman of the neighborhood, and he's awesome. He's always there to help out anybody, anytime, and I love him to death for that. And so he came over and helped out and was able to... Um, he, he took the trim off the door in like a second. It was awesome how fast he did it. And then he just uh, did a little jimmying, got the door open, and then you could just see the smile on his face like, yep, that's just how I do it. I am the savior of the neighborhood, and we love him for that, and he's awesome. So that was my little uh, interesting story for the weekend. That and uh, I, I stayed up till actually 6.30 editing uh, some of this video in particular, and uh, the two episodes from now, in this series I was editing that one now because we're going to be doing a format change which is the nice transition into that I'm going to be doing a bit of a format change for the future of gun madness and I'm not going to give it away what it is but it will require a lot more editing to do it but I want to give the best quality I can on these videos and I feel I need to do a little bit more than just the gameplay itself with a scoreboard and me commentating or me dual commentating. So I'm going to be trying some new things now because I've just started editing. I'm only going to get way better. I, I'm putting in the time. I'm going over. I'm starting to learn the advanced. I'm all self-taught, so I'm always trying to find stuff on YouTube, learning how to get better and better. And I'm only this channel is only going to get better, guys. I want to make this my livelihood. I, want, I love doing this. And I'm going to make the best videos possible. And with y'all's feedback and y'all's support, we're, we're going to do something special here. I can feel it. So I was doing a bit of format change. Uh, it was the first time I've ever written, directed, and produced something. And so hopefully that will be round uh, two, game one. And that's, it. yeah, the first round in game, or no, the first game in round two. There we go. I said it right. So, and then I'm also planning on doing a special video uh, to segue and get hyped up for round two in a brief uh, review over round one. So I don't know how I'm necessarily going to do all that yet, but I'm going to be starting on that actually as soon as I get done talking on this mic. So I'm going to be pretty excited for that. See if we can make something nice there. Hopefully Exalted will do a dual commentary with me on that because that will be a big deal. And I'm trying to figure out a way to make a cooler scoreboard as well, but that's kind of not priority at the moment. And uh, as you can clearly see, this gameplay is starting to run down. I'm at plus 8, 74 to 70. Will I get the game winner? Come around the corner where that guy go, and boom, I did not get it. But 22 and 14 with a small. Yeah. I will take that. I'm quite a... Uh, yeah, plus eight with a small, I'll take it. <laughs> and now we're on to the SWAT. And guys, I am not a fan of the SWAT at all. And I ended up using the, um, oh, what is the site called? Y'all know what site it is where it switches in and out. And just to try to switch things up a bit. Um, yeah, I just don't like this gun at all. And I was actually looking over the rankings. And it's kind of funny because when I was going for Diamond for all my guns, some of these guns got pushed way, way back. And, like, I kind of forgot how to play with them or or what they really, like, meant to me, I guess. And so, like, throughout the rankings on my uh, Gun Madness, I've kind of realized I, I rated some gun or ranked some guns wrong. So, and I have a few derp moments throughout this, and I'm sure y'all will be able to notice it whenever it happens. I think there are two at least, but the SWAT just, it messes with my psyche, guys. It is mentally tiring using this gun for me. You know, like, there's just some guns that just get you. Like, you have to work extra hard. It's not fluent. This isn't the AN-94. This isn't the MP7. This is the MSMC for me. This is like... I don't know. It's like I'm handicapping myself playing with this gun in a way. And it's not to say this gun is necessarily terribly bad. It's just not my play style. I'm an aggressive guy. I like to move around. This gun is perfect for um, camping or overlooking a um, domination point or a capture the flag, getting range. Because like right here, it sucks up close. That's all there is to it. Hip fire blows. I don't have a secondary because this is 
uh, gun madness. You know, I'm only using that gun and that it. That's it. So you know, I kind of handicap myself a lot of ways with this series, but this gun really shows it a bunch. And I have a slow start to this game. And I'm just, I kind of wanted to throw up a game where I just not completely beast 24 7 in it. And I'm not saying that I am beast all the time or any of the time for that matter. I'm just saying I do play better sometimes than I do compared to other times. And this is one of the games where I suck a lot more. And I just want to let y'all know I don't want to just play nothing but the best game footage I get because I do only play like three to five games. Uh, just looking for the best one. That's kind of what I said. I get like three games, I get a few warm-up games to remember how to play with the gun, maybe tweak the classes a few times, and then... Because, yeah, I mean, I could just stay here for forever and go, okay, uh, well, in game 23, I did better, so, you know, I'm going to use this footage instead. I don't want to do that, necessarily. You know, so, now that y'all understand that, I mean... <sighs> it's just a SWAT. I don't know what it is. And here, back to the ranking, so I was talking about earlier. I would have put this as the worst primary for me now. Uh, though uh, technically with my um, rankings I have th these are the guns that are worse I have the Peacekeeper at 29 which is probably my biggest whiff so far along with the MP7 then I have the 28 KSG that's about right that would probably that should probably be the second worst for me just because it's so we'll get into that whenever we get to the KSG game actually and then the XPR is ranked at 31, which I probably should have put up just a tad higher. But, you know, I just forgot about a lot of these guns. And, you know, buffs happen, nerfs happen, things change. That's alright, though. We're still going to have fun. We're going to keep rocking this series. And hopefully we'll have some more dual commentary soon enough. Um, I feel like me and Exalted were entertaining. I feel like me and Ethan had some entertaining ones. Ethan helped me kind of get used to the commentating scene now i'm feeling a lot more comfortable um just talking solo in a mic because like when you first start off it's kind of awkward you know you're just sitting here talking to yourself but with the more practice i will get better hopefully y'all have seen a slight improvement if any <laughs> with my commentating abilities so let's see what else we got to say about the swat uh i, I would like to use this gun actually on maybe a, um, an aftermath or a turbine, a carrier. I think this gun I would might actually use. I would prefer the fail over it still though because it still has uh, more accuracy and it does only shoot single shot. But I feel like with this gun, it's gotta have a reticle on it. I don't care what kind of reticle you use guys. I don't even necessarily care if you use a target finder even though I do frown upon that. Um, I, I actually might, for one episode, throw on a target finder, maybe like a single shot gun, just for fun. You know, I want to switch it up a little bit with the, within all the guns, so that might be interesting. And the, the team we were playing this game, it was just nothing but campers, and Achilles was actually the one that joined me in this one. And speaking of Achilles, he has made a lot of headway in his um, house on my world. And so I need to do another Minecraft video too as well. I'm focusing so much on the gun madness. I've been kind of um, neglecting Minecraft. And I know a lot of y'all are more interested in my Minecraft than y'all are with my gun madness series. But I'm trying to show it equal love here. So uh, part two of the lighthouse will be up sometime this week. I will promise you that. I will do it this week. And this should be uploaded on Sunday. So yeah, I got, I got six days to get that done. Oh, man. But, yeah, the hip fire sucks with this. Uh, this gun messes with my head a ton. And this gun's been patched, I want to say, two times. But it might only be once. It doesn't really matter necessarily. I mean, each bullet with this uh, gun does 40 damage. And, of course, it's a three-round burst. So it could do a total of 120. And a uh, person only has 100 health. So, and in hardcore, only all it takes is one bullet to kill a guy. So... Yeah, I mean, this gun has its potentials. You just have to get it in the right environment, you know. And I believe I'm about to get my Merciless right around here. I'm about to get a Merciless with this gun. Yep, there it is. And then I die. Womp, womp, womp. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to have another dirt moment here with that sentry gun. I, we had so many people in there, I thought somebody would have killed it by now. But, you know, when you're in the moment, sometimes you overlook some things. Um, the recoil on this gun is pretty low. Like, as you can see me shooting right there. 
But I think if I'm going to give you any tips for this gun, which I I try not to make these, uh, there's my derp. Um, I would have to say toughness. As you can see, I'm rocking flat jacket, scavenger, and toughness on this class. Uh, if I was just using this without scavenger, I have to use scavenger, obviously, just in case I run out of ammo in the series. Uh, I would feel a lot more comfortable using tack mask, just because I hate getting stunned or shocked. Because I'm very aggressive and I trip shock charges a lot. And, yeah, I would, I would rather have tack mask or maybe dexterity just so you can get into the sights faster. But as you can see here, this is just a runaway game. Plus 21 right now, 74, 72. Can I come up big? The answer is no. It is 74, 74. Will we get the win anyways? And we do. So I finished 36 and 16. That's okay. I will take it a plus 20. Now, I don't think anybody really thought the small was going to come up big and defeat the SWAT, but it was still a fun episode to make, guys. And I guess you could say I had a blast. <laughs> I am too cheesy, too cheesy indeed. But as you can see now, the SWAT will go on to play the number 6 B23R, and I cannot wait for that game. That'll be a fun game. In next episode, we'll be taking a look at round one, some of the lowlights, some of the highlights, some of the stats as well. And we'll also take a look at the future, what we can expect from round two. And hopefully Exalted will join in on that commentary as well. So guys, if you can, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I am doing. Spread the word about me to your homies as well if you can, if you enjoy my channel. And y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Deuces. Deuces.